Good afternoon, I'm Tim Green from My Local News and I'm here with Oliver Dowden, uh, MP for Hartsmere. Um, Oliver, congratulations on your promotion uh, to Minister for Implementation this week. Thank you. Um, you've only uh, been Parliamentary Private Secretary yes. uh, for Defence since July. Yes. Um, was it a shame to, to leave that position? Uh, no, yeah, it was. I really enjoyed being um, the Defence Secretary's PPS and there's so much work to do, particularly around how we make sure our armed forces are suited to the challenges of the 21st century, whether that's cyber, whether it's making sure that we face up to new threats from Russia or from nuclear. There are lots of challenges there and lots of work to do in Parliament. But it's a real honour to be able to, to do the job as, as a minister now. Yeah, okay. So can you tell us a bit more uh, about what Minister for Implementation actually involves? So we, we had a look at a job description. Yes. It's talking about uh, cross-government implementation of policy. Yes. But that doesn't mean, may not mean a great deal to your average person in the street. So what does that involve? Well, well the core role as uh, the Implementation Minister is to take the promises that the government has made and make sure that those are delivered by working with different departments to make sure those happen. The things that matter to people, whether that's making sure that we reach our target of building a million new homes so that people have the security and stability of owning their own home, whether it's looking at something like um, our health service to make sure we, we deliver on the extra money that we've, we've promised to make sure that goes to the right places. So it's, it's taking those commitments and making sure they have a reality on the ground. But the role is actually wider than that as well. I'm also responsible for the machinery of government and reform to the machinery of government, but that's making sure we, we spend government money wisely so we get the best value for money from uh, the rent that we pay for all the government buildings, how we administer the IT systems, making sure we get those efficiencies because the less we spend on central government machinery, the more we have to spend on the, the front line. Um, and will it affect your uh, role in your constituency at all? Should, should people in Hartsmere be uh, concerned that now you are playing such a key role in the machinations of, of government um, that they, they won't be affected will they? By... No, my constituency will not be affected at all. It's perfectly normal for ministers to maintain their constituency responsibilities. This is my home area. I'm going to be here all the time. Um, I will be continuing with my campaigning priorities and actually I think it should be an advantage because uh, the fact that I will have a, a seat in government itself means I should have a bigger influence on the things that matter to constituents. Um, and just to slightly uh, branch off into another area yeah. about um, the prospects for, for Hartsmere yeah. uh, over the next year, uh, what do you see happening there? I mean in Bushy for example, you must have been very concerned to hear that the country club is to close. Um, so that must be something you'll be looking closely at in the next few months. Yes, I mean clearly the country club is uh, owned by Hartsmere Borough Council. That is a responsibility of the council and the councillors. But as I always say to constituents, I want to be a strong voice and make sure that constituents' voices and concerns are heard. So I'll be watching the situation very closely to see what the council proposed to do with the site. It's certainly my view that we need to maintain high levels of public accessibility to it. I think it's something that's very valuable to the community, but clearly the, the council has to make sure that the country club is financially viable. Yeah, sure. Okay. And uh, any other issues at all that, that leap out at you for the Hartsmere over the next 12 months? Uh, well, the Oyster Card campaign continues. I know people in Hartsmere that live in Bournemouth already have Oyster, but we have to get it to Radlett and Potter's Bar. It really gives you flexibility, particularly if you're not going into London every single day of the week and a season ticket's not um, suitable for you. I'm continuing my work in relation to local schools. I know there's been issues around the schools in um, the primary school in Potter's Bar and then the ongoing need for a new school in Radlett and at uh, Radlett and Bushy. Uh, I'm also taking a very close interest in other infrastructure issues. I know how worried people are about the pressure on local GPs. As more houses are being built, we've got to make sure that we have the infrastructure to go with it, whether that's the schools, the hospitals, um, and the other local services. Now, as an MP, I don't make the decision about those, but what I'm, I'm trying to do is to lobby those people that do make decisions, whether it's the local health authority, 
whether it's at the local or the county council, to make sure we have the investment going in alongside those new homes. Okay, so a busy and exciting year ahead then? Yes, I'm looking forward to it very much. Okay, well thank you very much. Great, cheers, thank you.